Hi, here's the scripting part for the Unity 5 project for opening the door. Have fun. So here I am in Unity 5.6 and as you might have noticed, I also exported this wall, this green wall and dragged it into my Unity scene. And I also imported the standard assets characters to have an FPS controller so that I can walk around in the scene. And my goal is that when this FPS controller is hitting a trigger of this, of this door, that this door will play the open animation. This is a very easy task. In the next tutorial we will go one step further and add interaction so that the user can open and close the door. But now let's start with this task. Okay, you can see I hit the door and it doesn't open. I don't fall through this door because it has a box collider component attached, but I need another box collider and this one has to be set to is trigger or is trigger equals true. So let's add this. Press add component, type in box, that's enough. Select the box collider and now set is trigger to true. Great, now I have to set the size of this box collider or of this trigger to a value of let's say 0.1 or a little bit smaller 0.08 okay and now I move the FPS controller a little bit out so that it doesn't touch the trigger when the project starts okay now what's next yeah we have to write a script. So I create a new folder and call this scripts here directly below the assets folder, call it scripts, open it and create a new script and call it door script. And now I drag it onto my door game object like so and then this script is attached to the door and I can double click and my IDE, in my case Visual Studio 2015, will open up. Here is my door script and what I need now is a reference to my animator component that is attached to this door. You remember when we create the animation, an animator is created automatically we will come back to this animator later. Now let's define a private field and call it animator like so. This IDE lags currently a little bit, sorry. Okay, now it's better. And in the start method, we can get this component, the animator, and assign it to this member variable underscore animator. Okay, and what can we do with this animator? Well, there is a method for the trigger which is called onTriggerEnter. If you're not programming every day against the Unity API, I think you are not really sure about the parameters of each method, but there's a nice web page here, the API of Unity, and here you can find the method onTrigger, and usually I just copy this snippet and add it here to my script remove the content and now I have the possibility to open my door using this animator field we defined. But which method to call? Open door? Uh, not really. Okay, let's jump back to our animator and see how we can solve this. Open the animator and you can see there is the open door animation as the default animation. But we don't want to have it as the default animation because we don't want it to be played when the project starts. So we will define a new default state. But first let's add a parameter here on the left side of type bool and call this open. And this will control whether the animation will be played or not. And we have to define this in a so-called transition. Therefore we have to define a new state, an empty state, and this will be the default state. And it does just nothing, okay? This default state is the first state that is visited when the project starts. 
So set it to default state, this empty. And now you can see that the first entry makes a transition to this empty default state. And then we define a new transition to the open door. And this is only called if open, the parameter open is set to true. And it will be set to true, the default is false, when we do this in our script. So instead of typing open door, you just call set bool open for the parameter true. And that's it. But we don't want to set it to true in each case when this trigger is entered. We only want to set it to true when the player enters this trigger. So okay, what is our player? Here's our player, the FPS controller, and it needs to have a tag that we can use in the script. And I set this tag to player. Then again, back to our script, we can write if other, this is the one that is colliding, tag equals player. This means our player is hitting this trigger or is entering this trigger then the open parameter should be set to true. And now let's test it, and I'm sure this will work like a charm. Yeah. Okay, I really hope you liked this tutorial. As I said, in the next one, we will add user interaction so that the user has to press a key to open a door. Perhaps we will also add a closed door animation. We will see. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to our channel and see you soon here on JNM.